parents, leaders of all levels, and youths themselves have been crying out for help, help to be gainfully employed. When the Ministry of Education and Culture, under the leadership of Minister Myron Walwyn, established the Youth Employment Services, yes, its intention was to, as much as possible, answer those cries. Are they achieving that goal? Here is Kathy Richards with the latest. The statistics are there as testimonies, but the reality can be seen when walking into a number of establishments across the territory, having 109 young persons, thanks to the Ministry of Education and Culture's Youth Employment Services, yes. The registrants who are between the ages of 15 to 30 were hired in various industries within the territory, which ranged from construction to administrative services. I'm very pleased with the progress of the Youth Employment Services Program. I must congratulate Ms. Rosha Lawrence, who is the Program Coordinator in the Ministry of Education and Culture, for the excellent job that she has been doing. For the second quarter of this year, we were able to find employment for 59 young persons in the territory, bringing the total for this year to date to 109, and that is absolutely remarkable. I must also thank all the businesses that have partnered with us uh, very much uh, for what they've been doing and to congratulate the young people for taking such an active interest in their development. We were able to put an apprenticeship program together recently um, that has been doing very well. And I want to encourage as many other young persons as possible who are seeking employment to make contact with Ms. Lawrence at the ministry and let us see how we can help you. The minister says unemployment among young people continues to be a troubling issue. However, through the investment of some $250,000 in the government's 2017 budget, the Ministry of Education and Culture has done quite a bit to ensure that the young people are able to sufficiently provide for themselves and their families. Coordinator of the program, Ms. Rochelle Lawrence, underscored the importance of local businesses providing an opportunity for young people of the territory. She said hiring of these 109 young people is certainly a positive step as YES continues to seek avenues to eliminate the unemployment issue in the territory and we are well on our way to doing so. But what do some of these beneficiaries have to say about the opportunities given to them? My name is Tiwana Andrew and I have been working with ZBCA for over a month. Working with YES was a very easy, professional, and quick process. I would encourage other young people to join our apprenticeship program and start working on your future. I would also encourage other businesses and organizations to give young people a chance and help them to be employed and work towards their goals. My name is Omari Martin. I work at Parts and Power and I'm with Youth Employment Services just over a month and I'm encouraging business owners to encourage the young people to employ, employ them, get them off the street, keep them out of trouble and keep them, keep them focused on what's going on. My experience was kind of rough, you know what I mean? Not getting a job right, right off the bat but you know what I mean? Once you keep focused and Thing you, you might probably find what you're looking for. Registrants of the Youth Employment Services Program receive the training in various areas, which include addressing for success, resume building, workplace etiquette, interview preparation, and professional branding. For JTV News, Kathy Richards.